There are some professions where drastic measures are taken to keep things classified. If these secrets get out, they could be a threat to national security. After months of networking, the producers have finally secured an interview with one of these individuals. I was very excited to be in the presence of a public school teacher. My name is Aaron Dansby, and I'm a journalist trying to answer the world's most pressing questions. From doctors to authors, I reach out to professionals to get their insight for your queries. This is Ask Aaron. Just like magicians, public school teachers like to keep their secrets out of the hands of the public. He has been educating the public for the past six years, and even with the strict regulations on their profession, they were willing to speak with me on the condition that they remain completely anonymous. So, what is it like to be a teacher? Um, it is a complicated, messy, fun job. Um, is it messy because you're shaping young minds? Like, is it more like clay or Play-Doh? Um, um, I'd say, excuse me, it's more like finger painting. Um, yeah, more like finger painting, I would say, than clay or Play-Doh. Right. Um, do you have a particular shape you like to shape minds into? Uh, I like to try to set the minds up to grow in whatever way they would like to grow. I think that's hopefully what the job is. Everyone's always told me you want to be a sage on the stage, not a guide on the uh, No, you want to be a sage on the stage, a guide on the side. Right. That's the wisdom. Do you have uh, anything that you do in particular as a teacher to kind of guide in the right directions? Um, another thing people always harp on is, excuse me, I'm sorry, is just to um, try to build relationships with the kids. That's the main thing, just to learn who they are and what they like and what they're about. And I think that, you know, sets you up as the teacher to help them become whatever they want to be. So I think there's one thing as when I was a student that kind of guided me in the right direction. It was it was candy. Yeah. You know, when you get a candy as a, a student, you're like, I'm doing a good job. Um, maybe, maybe you could try that. Instead of actually trying to guide them, just give them the candy like breadcrumbs and they'd follow it. Um, it's funny that you mentioned that candy is a big part of my game, actually. Then I'm sure you're, you're doing a great job as a teacher. Yeah. All of my best teachers uh, gave candy. I think it might have only been one or two, but those were noticeably the best. Yeah, yeah. I think sometimes it, uh, it feels a little, uh, whatever. I don't know. I don't, you know, you're a little conflicted. You want to teach them good things, but hey, if it works, if it works, if it gets hands in the air, I'll do it. So that's what, that's what you're striving for, hands in the air? Hands in the air. Class could be like a roller coaster. I would love that. Yes. I hope you learned a thing or two from this exclusive interview. I know I did. I understand that many of you are also fans of true crime documentaries, but please do not try and figure out who this interview was with. It is of the utmost importance. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, I'm Aaron, and this has been Ask Aaron. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you do not send to 10 friends, your luck will change for the worse. You will never have enough milk for a bowl of cereal. You constantly feel like you need to sneeze, but cannot, and it will always take at least 10 minutes to find the TV remote. Thank you. Your hand is not at fault for any change of luck. I'm not watching this video. Aaron Dansby is not responsible for any change of milk quantities, nor the feeling of a pre-sneeze, nor hiding a TV remote. Please enjoy this video and share with friends. Thank you.